Well, 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 Drew. <laughs> Finally, housewives. Yeah, get into it, Drew. <laughs> This <laughs> show actually has been months in the making. Yeah. And here's the deal. Let's be honest, okay? I had an idea. Yes. Because I am constantly surrounded by my friends and family and like everyone I know is obsessed with The, the Real, Real Housewives. Housewives. Yeah. And, and we all know who they are. Because it's a cultural phenomenon. That's exactly it's what it is. It's in every city. It's taking over the world. world right? <laughs> But, but, but I have a confession to make. I am a Real Housewives virgin. <gasps> I have never seen an episode. I don't know anything about anyone, and I wanted to remain green and unseen for the sake of this show. So that what if, what <laughs> if maybe, just maybe, yes, the housewives could come here and teach. Us, yes, us. About all their phenomenon in pop culture and who they are and why they matter so much to so many people. Because if we fall in love with them in person, maybe we'll be in and watching it and obsessing about it like you all are. Everybody, Real Housewives fans, get ready to freak out. I'm freaking out already. Please welcome Kyle Richards, Melissa Gorga, Dorinda Medley, Giselle Bryant, and Ashley Darby. No. actually have history because we were both child actors. Yep. We have grown up in we and have. around each other. We have. I remember our moms used to take us out to dinners with them all the time. Yes. <laughs> yes. And when we were kids. When we were kids and it was back in the days where there wasn't paparazzi like there is now. Those were such good times. They simpler were great times. days. <laughs> they were simpler times yes. actually. Yep. Now Dorinda, um, what was a reason that you felt like, I'm gonna jump into this. In the beginning. I kind of was on the show off and on because all the girls that are up, were on New York were friends of mine. So I kind of dabbled in it. I would show up in the background and parties and stuff, but I wasn't, I was married to my husband. It didn't work out. My daughter was at private school. And then as everybody knows, my husband passed. Hannah went to college all in so one year. Sorry. Yeah, and so I decided, they, Ramona Singer came to me one day and said, it's Ramona. Ramona. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Ramona's the Ramona. reason I'm on the show. You guys transcend. That's, that's the truth. <laughs> that's really the reason. Ramona said, Dorinda, it's, you know, it's time for you to get try, do the housewives. No more, you know, saying you'll do it, showing up in the background. And I thought, you know, why not? Hannah's in college. I'm not mom. I'm not a wife. I'm not a this. I'm just going to be Dorinda. You. Yeah, you're you just know, if you. people like me, great. If they don't, that's fine. That's great. Why? But there, I'm with that, so there has to be things that we have shared that maybe we regret sharing. Anybody? Oh, yes. Oh, oh my God. God. Yes. Okay. So oh, my side is so 2020. Oh, really? It really is. You. Okay. This season, I've had to deal with separating from my husband and um, just so much stuff. And it's not always stuff that, there's stuff that you put out there that you think, I wish I didn't put that out there. And there's things that you really don't have a choice when you sign up for something like this. Yeah, so you, yeah. there's things you, you can't hold that back. You, you can't hide them from the camera. Well, I don't have a very good poker face. Uh. And um, I, I've always been honest, you know, since I started the show. And my, my husband really wasn't ready to share. And we hadn't even shared with our children what we were going through. But the cameras were up and, you know, they could see right away that there was something off between us. And, 
you know, um, I, I had to address it. I, you know, I did. I think it was probably good for Mauricio and myself because we were having a hard time even admitting it to ourselves. But what doesn't help is the public weighing in and wondering about the whys and they want answers because they feel like they've been following my, my life invested. for 13 years now. And they are invested and they, you know, have followed our story and they're like, you know, they're a true love story. Now they want to know why exactly what happened, what created this. And, you know, it's hard to say, explain all of that. You can't really tell some, you know, the world, well, you know, this is exactly what went on, mm -hmm. you know, even if you want to. And there's things about me too. It's like, guys, I'm not going to keep it from you. I'm also trying to figure it out. We're trying to figure it out now, uh, figure it out. So. And if, Ashley, you also have been going through stuff in a relationship yeah. under yeah. the spotlight. What are the pros and cons of that for you personally? I've been doing this show now for eight seasons. Mm. And I'm a bisexual woman. And I came out about my sexuality. And before, I had to reveal that my husband and I didn't have a traditional marriage, right? I didn't know how that was going to be received. I didn't know how my family was going to take that when they saw it. So I had to really prepare myself for that. But in response, the outpouring of women who said, I'm so thankful that someone said it so that then I can feel comfortable sharing my own story. That's been the most uplifting. That's the yeah. best. I'm curious about something. Yeah. You know, when, when you are being the authentic self and, and, and you're filming it and you, you know something is going to be shown, something that, you know, the public doesn't know yet, but you know because you shot it a while ago. Yeah. What is that feeling on the inside Ooh, like? That's, like it's like a knot oh, right in your awesome. stomach. It's, you it's know not, it's coming. Because, because oh. and I wait for the, we get sent the episodes a couple days before they get aired to the world. And when that, and I'm just like cringing, like, please God, please God, <laughs> please God. Because I know what was filmed, but I don't necessarily know what was edited yep. out. Yeah. Right. Yes. And what do you think when you see moments? Are you able to do some self-reflection? Because I think. Oh, that's yes. a good question. Yes. I'm yeah. sort of envious I think of you. that's Thinking one of the biggest parts of all of it. Because we do show the good, the bad, and the ugly, right? Yeah. And we, we do need to be relatable. Because they show our affluent lives also, but. They also need to show us as wives, as moms, as humans. things, as humans, that we yeah. do have struggles and we have insecurities and yeah. we might be glammed up a lot of the time, but we are insecure and have issues at home and, and we need to show all of that. And I think that's where the modern day woman, we're almost like a modern day soap opera Interesting. where we can, you know, let women at home that are watching relate to the things that we go to in our lives and just, yeah. Yeah. and yeah, just, sure. you know. Okay, we're gonna go to a quick commercial break, but when we come back, we are gonna recap all of their favorite, delicious, salacious, <laughs> sensational, fun moments that they've all picked as their favorite iconic scene. We'll be right back. 